Hello everyone, my name is Laki Kumiakiumi. I'm a trainee data analyst at Quantum Analytics. As part of my internship, I have used Tableau to visualize the record of shark attacks between 1900 and 2020. And I would like to share my visualization with you. All right. Okay. So first, we can see here is that is the number of shark attacks between 1900 and 2020, all right? And this chart shows us that in 1900, okay, about nine shark attacks occurred, okay? And it sort of increased gradually, okay, until it got to 1960. So in 1960, the attacks increased to about 89. And then there was a fall, it plummeted up till 1973, okay, where attacks reduced to 20, and we could see a similar pattern in, uh, we could see a similar pattern in 1974, it increased slightly, increased again in 1975 to 46, um, reduced to 22 in 1979, and on and on, it just kept increasing and like that. So in 2015, in 2005, for example, attacks increased to 87, all right? In 2010, it went to 84, okay? Okay, but when we then move on to look at, um, to look at in 2015, attacks increased to 20, in 2015, rather, attacks increased, shark attacks increased to 126. So 126, right? So if we look at where we started from in 1900, 12 attacks, but in 2015, it had increased to 100 and, 100 and um, 126. While in 2017, okay, it had reduced to 48, all right? So in 2017, that reduced to, 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 to 48. So we can see that there's been an increase over time and over the years as it relates to, to shark attacks, to shark attacks, all right? So we've never had a year in which there hasn't been any record of, of, of shark attacks. And um, the year that saw the highest number of attacks was 2015 with 126. If we look at this global map, we realize that most of these attacks happened in, in Florida, okay? Happened in Florida, all right? So here's a, 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 a map of the world, all right? And we can see that it happened, most of the attacks happened in, 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 in Florida. So 29 injuries in Florida. We can also see another place here in Brazil, 13. We can come down to Africa and we notice about 10, about 10 shark attacks and injury occurred in, in South Africa. We can go to Australia, we can see about six attacks. So all these are, you know, attacks spread all around the world and all. But which body parts are mostly affected by such attack? So which body parts, okay? Um, from the record that I analyzed, um, about 621, about 621 attacks were not, uh, injury were not assigned to a particular body part. But if we look at this, we realize that, we realize that, um, we realize that, for example, leg attacks, okay, about 445, about 445. We also saw that, about 410 attacks were, were, were fatal, were serious attacks. And we can also see here that 327 attacks, um, 327 attacks or injury occurred to people's hands. That is, that was the part of the body which the, the shark, you know, really, we really held on, held on to. And then the attacks happened, um, in the afternoon, about 904 attacks happened in the afternoon, 612 in the morning, 
about 289 in the evening, while we do not have the, the actual time in which we do not have the actual time in which attack for about 1714 you know, attacks took place. All right. So let's also look at the seriousness of the attack. How, how, how serious was the attack? Okay, we realize here that 550 attacks were serious compared to 2,676 of those attacks. So the attack not being, having 2,676 attacks not being serious doesn't mean that, oh, the person didn't get injured. Of course, the person got injured, but it's not as severe as, as um, the 550 um, incidents. All right, well, about 35 attacks, the data didn't provide the severity of, of those attacks. We can also see from here that, that um, the most popular shark species, okay, most popular shark species, and TBD here means that we couldn't tell the, the actual species of, of the shark, but we can tell that from here, the white shark, if we look at this, we can then tell that white shark okay, attacked and caused injury, about 426 injury, followed by tiger, tiger shark, 229, bull shark, and on and on and on like that. So if we look at the number of body part injury and then compare it to these shark attacks, we can tell that um, to a large extent, the attacks were carried out by white shark white shark, right? But we couldn't tell this other one and TBD because, because the, the name of the shark or the species of the shark was not specified. So what can we deduce from all, from this visualization? One is that there's been a gradual increase in the number of sharks over the years, okay? And before, and before, the millennium 1960s saw the highest number of shark attacks. And when we moved into the 21st century, the highest number of shark attacks occurred in 2015, which is uh, 126. Okay, a lot of um, body parts were affected, including arm, calf, elbow, foot, leg, shoulder, and on and on. And to a, to a large extent, we couldn't tell, the data did not show the, the year we can see in yellow that the, the attack happened, you know. But this, in this instance, the actual time that that attack happened did not, was not specified. But if we look at the time of the day that was specified, we realized that most of the attacks happened in the afternoon, okay? Perhaps in the afternoon, people are, people are you know, they are trying to, perhaps trying to swim, or trying going there on a boat, on a boat cruise and, and, and things like that. Or some people are on or, or trying to, to you know to, to catch some fish, you know, and, and, and things like that. All right. And we can also tell that most of those attacks happened in, in, in the US. Okay, happened in the US. All right. Thank you so much for watching and listening. If you have any question, kindly drop it in the comment section on LinkedIn. Thank you.